Welcome in. Today we are going to look at Breakthrough Indoors Warm-Up Packet. Now the perfect warm-up packet, well the perfect warm-up packet is also going to become the perfect daily practice routine. And it's going to contain all of the core components that everybody needs to master marching snare drum. What I'm going to do today is we're going to look through the whole of their warm-up. I'm going to talk you through those components and then afterwards I'm going to break down every one of those exercises and teach you how to play all of them. So straight off the bat. We've got eight on hand essentially, right? We've got, what we're really talking about here is legato strokes, big, tall, high, full strokes. We're getting the muscles moving a little bit, we're getting the blood flowing, we're getting used to the sound, we're trying to get used to the full sound of everybody playing. And we're simply doing eight rights, eight lefts, and then 16 of each. You can see we've got a full turn, they're also marking time to get their feet move, moving, and get their brains kind of in check. Now straight away then, we're changing to the next component, which is different stroke types, accents and taps. So we've got the four different stroke types and they're practicing all of these in this part of this exercise. The transitions are gonna be the hard bit. All of a sudden next we get hand-to-hand -hand accent patterns. And a little tag at the end. So we've built up Sim simple through to difficult. This one, we're doing three over two poly with me, okay? What we're doing here is working our minds a little bit more, so these guys are having to really think. We're still doing legatos, but this is much more right up here. And this one quite quickly turns into a double exercise. So this one, we're looking at practicing our rebounded doubles. We've got an exercise that some of you know called Irish Spring. It's a little bit of a version of that. And we're just getting those doubles rebounding. Next up, we're turning it into some threes. So again, we're doing rebound strokes rather than press strokes. So we're playing full turn. Next up, we're into duple, right? We're into some paradiddles. We're doing all the different types of paradiddles that they are likely to have in their show, right? So standard paradiddles, paradiddles, some grandmas, inverted grandmas, some bounce threes, bounce fives, and a little paradiddle diddle ending. Pretty quick. Next up, we're starting to look now at those press rolls, those, those speedo rolls, these fast. So we're playing very low, we're using arm, we're kind of squeezing a little bit in the fulcrum. And again, they've done it in triplets, they've done right hand, left hand, and then they're doing it together. Much more difficult. Then all of a sudden, we start to break out into hand to hand pans, right? We're matching the heights that we just did with the single strokes. Right hand and left hand, then it's rolls. Tap rolls, little crescendo at the end, and then a tag at the end. Little crescendo up and down. Nice little ending. Okay, next up. Often for drum lines, you're playing these day after day after day, so you need something that's going to keep your interest. So this one's putting some flams in there. In this case, we're doing cheeses. This is a 16th note cheese grid, just moving the rudiment. So we did the fours, this is the twos little tag on the end. So that one works our flams, works our, works our cheeses, but also just something that we can kind of practice together away from our drums and we can add other elements over the top of that to make it more and more interesting. Right, as I said, I'm going to teach you all of these. So let's jump in straight on that um, 8, 8, 16 exercise to start with, right? So we're going to go through these quite quick, right? I'm not going to hang around, so you might need to come back and watch some of these. We're doing 8 on the right, 8 on the left, and then 16 on the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 16. Right, we're going for a full turn, we're going for rebound strokes, and we're making sure that we've got the set position, so while the right hand is playing, the left hand is down here, while the left hand is playing, the right hand is down here, right? Second line, we do the same thing, but left hand. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Right now, I'm not going to play along that one because you can all do that, right? Next up, we straight onto the accents and taps. The accents and taps, again, they've made it so basic that it's easy to learn fast so that we can worry about the playing rather than the actual learning of the exercise. What we've got here is downbeats, in other words, like the 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, and upbeats, me and the ands. 1, and 2, and 3, and 4. And we mix two of two, two and two. So we get two down beats, one and two, and two up beats, one and, and, and that's our first bar. One and two and three and four 
and sing with the left. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. And then, rather than doing that twice on the right hand, they've changed it a little bit. So on this, the doubled right hand part, we've got one and two and three and four and one and two and three, four. I'm just thinking of it as a two and then threes. Three, three, and the end there. So we've got a pattern that goes dun, 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 dun. One, two, and four, one, and, uh, uh, uh. Now, because we're going to do that on the left hand, the next line, let's try that as well. Now we'll do this one with the Met, let's stick a metronome on. That's alright, that's a good speed there. So one, hold line, three, rights, lefts, and the extended. So on the left, extended. I'll do that again, two, three. Next up, we start to get hand hand patterns. The sum lines would just do something like a grid. Right, they've made this a little bit more interesting for the guys by doing this. We've got one yan, two yan. Um, mm, let me have a quick look. Yeah. Right, so we start off with two little threes. Let me throw in a five. So three, five, five. Three, three, five. If you've not done this before, do about 50 of those now, and also do them off the left. Three, three, five. Three, three, five. Three, three, five. Now what you can see, and I've written it out so you can particularly see it, is we've got a three, three, five. Then we've got a pattern that goes, which is kind of like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, like to a six almost. But it's across the bar line. So then we add the same thing on again at the end, which gives us, now the last is the start of the next bar. This will make a lot more sense with the metronome, but it will sound like this. Let's do it with the met. Two, three, four. Two, three. Rushing a bit, three, four. It's a bit better, left hand, same thing. Back to the right, three, four. Two, three, so both, right, left. Again, two, three, four. Next line, I'm gonna leave the metronome running because we do a five, five, two threes, and then this. Then. Let's well, hold of that part, ready? So, one, two, three, four. Two, three, line. That's the first bit. She's four and a two. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. And end. Last time. And then last bar. So whole line. Time. And 
let's do it with a metronome. Two, three, four. Right, that's the first one done. Let's jump straight down to the second exercise, right? Second exercise, this is the double beat one. In this one, um, we're starting off with our three over two polyrhythm. Well, polyrhythm is just where one pattern's being played, but another one's being played over the top. So this is doing one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Then the other hand is doing twos. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. One, two. Well, that's what the polyrhythm is. Now, in this case, the polyrhythm is going to be between, be between the metronome or our feet and our right hand. So this we can learn really easy by saying, um, well, we've got cold cup of tea or we've got salt and pepper, right? So salt and pepper, salt and pepper, salt and pepper, salt and pepper. Now, our right hand is going to be playing the snare drum, but our left hand is going to be our feet. Salt and pepper, salt and pepper, salt and pepper. Now, you can also see it's just quarter note triplets, right? So let's find a tempo that works for that. Well, it's about the same. Same format, six for the left, six for the right, 12 for the left. Again, two, three, four. Right, then we're into our shuffle. Oh. Extended right. Left. Right. Double left. Please, so let's try the shuffle again. Then we're into our threes. Now this pattern is easier with a met, so we get. I'm gonna keep looping that. It's extended one. Extended. Extended. Right, so let's try the whole of that three section. So one, two, three. And that's the whole of that exercise. I'm going a little bit faster. So, go, whole thing, gatos, so, and again, three, let's try, let's try again, I messed up the start.
Okay, so we've done some legatos, right? We've done some mime work. We've done some doubles, rebounded doubles, right? We've got to do the next type of doubles. So first up, we've got some paradiddles. So again, these are kind of rebounded doubles, but we're kind of holding on to those a little bit. Whereas the next one's going to come up the speedo. It's going to be the press rolls. So we start this one out, right? We have a setup where we've got one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and four. Now I'm guessing that's trying to get people's tempo in their minds, but also trying to get them the right technique that they're going to have to use for all these these paradiddles. So the difference between these two is the last one was all about playing up here, rebound doubles, now we're playing rebound doubles nice and low, which means we've got to hold on a little bit more, right? Let's try that first time. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two, three, four. Right, then we're in two. So that was four paradiddles. Then two paradiddles. Then one paradiddle, paradiddle to switch it back to a left hander, right? Again, let's find the metronome set the worst with this. Same off the left hand. Repeat. Those two together. Three, four. Right, next line we start off with grandmas. Those guys, but we're in time. Three, four. And that's the whole bar. We do a sim off the left. Put this together. Switch. Switch. And. Switch. Switch. Now the next bar, if you've never done this before, you're going to have to pause here, right? It's the same thing, but instead of playing grandmas with paradiddles, we're playing one with inverted paradiddles, just like this. So it's right-handed ones. Left-handed ones will be... So, first bar. And you can still see there's a paradiddle at the end, yeah? So, switch hands with a paradiddle. Left hand. Together, three right first. So let's put the whole of that line together. One, two, grandmas. Again, two, three, four. Awesome. Next line, we're on to tap threes and tap fives. One thing that's making this awesome for me, this um, this warm-up package, is some of the packages these days will take you like six months just to learn one exercise. These are nice and simple, and I think for teaching a drum line or teaching any drummer to be able to improve fast you want lots of exercises that they can learn quickly so they can do another one another one another one you can also make these much more difficult by doing them faster or we can add other things into them right let's go to this next line so this next line we start with these bounce threes and then a bounce five and the bounce three and the bounce five so that pattern there now we do that twice one e and two e and three e and four e and one e Next two bars, we get this pattern that goes. So that's just three bounce triplets. That's no, nice, two, isn't it? 
start with a rim shot release. Then the left hand. The only thing that's difficult here is after that rim shot, the left's actually got to come up ready to have his go. And then the right's got to come up, so. So hollow that line. And then a right hand release. Two, three, four. And then the end section of this song is going to be um, So two paradiddle diddles and a right left. And the second one's got a rim shot. All right, now we repeat that twice. And then the last section, we do four paradiddle diddles. Rim. And then this on the end to end. So let's try that whole last line. Let's do it with a met. Two, three. Again, three, three, four. I think it's trying the whole thing. So quiet, two, three, four. And next up, Speedo. So this video that we're used at the start, this has been recorded by George Collins, right? If you haven't followed George Collins, go find his channel. Um, he's got loads of videos of drum lines over the years, all warming up, and he's traveling all around the country this year, along with a couple of other guys recording videos so you guys um, can watch along. And he's quite kindly let me use any of his videos on my site. So go support him, go subscribe to him, give him some love. All right, next up, we're talking about press rolls. Now, a lot of drum lines at the moment are teaching drummers or practicing playing press rolls as buzz rolls, right? Then they're teaching them that that's the most squeeze that they can get. So then they list that squeeze off to get these little fast rolls. And that's essentially what we're looking at here. Another way of pressing this instead of doing buzz rolls is you practice just one-handed patterns to get good at it. Now, it's called speedo. There's going to be a little bit more of this motion, right, than this motion. Well, a lot more of this motion than that motion. And over time, then, we're trying to even our diddles out to make the roll sound um, nice and clean. This one, again, we're starting in triplets. One triplet. One triplet. One triplet. One triplet. Um, with a metal, it'll make more sense, but it's going to be the three of a do poly with them again, all right? So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, the speed of those should be exactly the same as if I was playing left in between. Right, left hand does the same thing. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Left. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's difficult to get the balance between um, enough power to dig out a double and not so much power that you're slowing down. Most of play these pretty quiet, right? You need a practice pad for this one that's got a little bit of rebound, right? It's better on, say, even a piece of wood or something like that or one of these snare drums. There's a lot more rebound even than this pad here. So it'll get a bit easier for you, right? This next part's nails, right? It's hard. What we're then doing is we're playing unison, it's double stops. Now what we're trying not to get is lots of flams like this. We want exact together. We gotta do that while we're doing this. 
I'm not great at these, all right? So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. That went bad. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we went right hand, left hand, unisons. Next up, we suddenly go into the actual exercise itself, which is... And the theory being that what you just learned when you've been playing these is carried forward for... So that was the right-handed version. So this speedo kind of motion only works at high tempos, right? If I'm playing at this speed, I change the technique. Next line, we move to the left. Again, three, four. Then we put two, two together. Again, two, three, four. Tap rolls. Now on the last one of those, there's a bit of a crescendo, right? So if I try just the roll section, one, two, or well, let's try it together. got a tag, and the tag goes. And then. But that crescendos. And then you gotta jump straight onto the tempo of that roll, so. Straight into it, right? thinking of one two three four five six um one two three four one two three four one two three four and then five six and uh, a release i think this is the one where they hit this and then they stick spin down all right so pancake down i think the note before goes down so mm. can't remember Either way, right? Go watch them, you can figure that out, right? So, one, two, three. And again, one, two, three. Right, let's try the whole this exercise, so. From there. Two, three, four. Nice and low. Squeezes. Together. Another one done, right? Like I said, these are really a daily practice routine, so I'm not hot on that, but you stick me doing that every day for six weeks, all of a sudden then my diddles, or your diddles, are gonna get way, way, way better. Right, best um, 
drum line exercises. Always have some stuff in there that the guys are going to get kicked out of playing. So often it might be a flam exercise. It might be a piece at the end, right? But it's something that the guys are going to want to do when they're on a tour bus on practice pass together or they're sat at home and they've got their friends around, they've the stuff they're going to want to play rather than just doing eight on a hand, which is pretty dull, right? So in this case, what they've done is rather than doing, say, a shopping spree or a piece, they put in a grid. Now, this particular grid is 16th note, um, cheese grid so we've got a standard 16 note one the under two the under three the under four the under one the under two yeah we move across a partial what we're doing is we're cheesing it instead so one two three four then the second one one two three four and the third one and the fourth one one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four now you'll notice on the fourth one we can't do a cheese at the end because we're going to have to do a cheese at the start again so what we do instead is we do a left to right flam. So that last one will go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four, like that. Right, to start off, to set the tempo, I've got two bars of 16th notes, and then down beats, ease, hands. Then we do two of each. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then the little tag at the end, rather than doing ones, which you're in most standard grids, they've added a little summit summit on the end, and we basically play a four and a three. Four, three, stop. Four, three, stop. So without the, the cheese, it would be. Same off the left. We put that together. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. We do a flam tap to end. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, flam tap end. Now rather than ending the whole exercise on the left, they play the same with the left. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Let's play that left standard one again, I messed that up. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So let's put those two together with the mat. Let's find a tempo that will work. It's a little slow, but we'll try it. Three, four. Two, three, four. Let's try the whole thing. Too slow. Right, let's try it here. So we've got one E under, two E under, three E under, four E under, one E under, two E under, one. Twos, threes, fours, ones, ones, twos, threes, four, that. It's so hard to speak and play at the same time. Let's play a tag again. Whole thing. Three. Something like this, what you can do then is you can say, well, let's do it instead with just flams. So I might go. Maybe a flam jazz. Maybe fives. So what you can do then is you can have some fun and you can just go through and make this more and more interesting and more and more difficult as you need. So, as I said, the perfect warm up for a drum line. For me, it's simple enough that the guys can learn it in a small amount of time rather than taking six months. It's covering all the core components. It's covering legatos, it's covering ups and downs, it's covering all the different ways of playing doubles, the rebounds, the press, 
It's also putting some flam stuff in there, and we're also doing certain rudiments that are going to be in, in your show, so maybe power deals and things like that. Now, if you think about everything that's in your drumline packages at the moment, there isn't that much which is not being in that exercise program. Now, exercise program, really, we're talking about a daily routine. The best way you're going to improve right now is to take routines like that, and every day, play the whole thing. Now, it was three minutes or something like that when we, when we watched it at the start of just them playing it. That was them playing it once each go. So if you play it five times each go, you're not doing that long of a warm up, but you're really going to improve. Don't forget, you're going to need to play it slow, fast, medium, high, low, everywhere and in between. If you're enjoying these lessons, as always, all I ask is leave me some comments, maybe hit the like button, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'll see you again with a lesson real soon. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.